What if we redirected all of our energy that is today focused on software and lines of code towards atoms and the physical world? When modern innovation started, we started to manipulate atoms and stuff in ways that made the world a better place. And that arc of innovation has continued all the way through the dawn of the internet and the personal computer. And I think we now see that a lot of those innovations are good and we're happy we have them. But in some cases they have this underbelly, this dark side to them that we never contemplated when we first built them. And we're now wrestling and grappling with the big existential ethical questions that kind of come out of that. But I think we've rotated maybe a bit too far away from atoms and too far in favor of bits, ones and zeros, code. And I think there's an opportunity to continue the same entrepreneurial drive that fueled the industrial revolution and making the world the physical world, the world we actually inhabit, the terrestrial world, a better place in the modern world, leveraging all this technology we have today to make the physical world around us cleaner, safer, more accessible in ways that our predecessors prior entrepreneurs never could have fathomed. A lot of the ways that technology can make our lives better is not always obvious in how you're first building it or the applications it first has. So when you reflect back on the space race, right, it was this grand thing where we mobilized the entire economy, we mobilized the most brilliant minds of a generation, all of this technology, all of this money. It was like we wanted to put a man on the moon, you know, in some ways like aspirational uh, reasons to do that. But all of the downstream derivative technologies that we built had very mainstream, practical applications. And it wasn't obvious. And so the space race was criticized and NASA is still criticized for in some ways being a, a luxury federal indulgence around technology. But at the same time, we have to ask the right questions, which is, can we see derivative applications that are actually gonna make all people's lives better through these new technologies? And those are some of the most important questions, some of the most meaningful questions you can ask. So we built Fifth Wall, and we were really fortunate in the sense that Fifth Wall was the first, biggest, kind of most pioneering fund in what is today called PropTech. But I had this desire to do something grander with that, with that platform, with that position we had. And I landed on our climate tech fund. It seemed an opportunity to build something totally new, totally unique, that leveraged everything we had built to serve this greater good, which is fighting climate change with everything we already had. And for me, that was really fulfilling. And I think that that's a question every entrepreneur should consider. How do you take all of the entrepreneurial drive that is today directed towards bits and marketplaces and software, which is great, and apply that to atoms and the physical world? And I think those are important questions to ask. Do you like content like this? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Instagram, and all of our social channels because we share it everywhere. We'd love to hear also what you think. I want to hear your comments, your perspectives, and the questions we should be asking.